Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 23rd tutorial in this course. And in this tutorial, we'll be checking out how we can embed video clips in our web pages. And uh, you know, in the last tutorial, we understood how we can include audio clips. And uh, the way in which you include video clips is very similar to how you include audio clips. And the video element that we're going to use in this tutorial is in fact uh, going to appear very similar to the audio element that we used and uh, the entire setup in fact except that the video element is going to take few extra attributes and I'll, I'll talk about those in in you know in just a minute so the html file that i have here has uh, the doc type declaration on line number one and then between the uh, opening and closing html tags uh, I have the head section and the body section. The head section has the uh, title tags and uh, the title of the web pages, embedding videos in web pages. Then inside the body section, I have uh, you know the opening and closing H1 tags on line number seven, and uh, the text included be included between the opening and closing H1 tags is sending email to people using Python, and this is actually the title of the video clip that I have included in the web page. And uh, then on line number eight, I have the video element. So you have to type in video first, give a space, and then you can set the uh, you know width as well as the height of uh, you know the video clip uh, as you want it to appear on your web page. So let's say I wanted to have a width of 600 pixels and I wanted wanted to have a height of 400 pixels. Uh, you know I'll have to type in width, the name of the attribute the equal to symbol and then within double quotes the value for it so and the value has to be in pixels right so 600 pixels is the value that i want the width uh, attribute to have 400 for height and then you give a space and you type in controls and the significance of the controls uh, you know attribute is that it allows you to play pause and uh, seek forward backward adjust the volume and uh, it allows you to do all that and then uh, you know, within the video element, I have uh, another tag, uh, the source tag for the video element, and this is going to tell the browser where the file is, what is its type, and uh, you know, what is its name. So, uh, you know, the video file that I've used here, you know, I've called it video.mp4, and I have it in the same folder as uh, my tutorial file. So, this is the HTML document, tutorial 20, tutorial hyphen 23, and uh, you know, the video file that I've used is also in this folder. So it's right here, it's uh, called video. And if I had it in some other folder, then I would have had to go to uh, the file's location, right click on the file, go to properties and copy the file location, like the entire path of the file, and then paste it here as a value to the SRC attribute within the source tag, right? And then you also have to specify the type of your file. So, you know, this is an MP4 file. So that's why I have uh, written video slash MP4 as a value. Uh, for the type attribute and then I've closed the source tag using the forward slash and the uh, closing angular bracket and then I also have a paragraph of text uh, on line number 10 I have the opening and closing p tags and the text that's uh, enclosed uh, within these tags is your browser does not support this file or feature and this text will only be displayed if uh, your browser fails to load this uh, video clip for some reason right and uh, this is how the file looks when I open it in Google Chrome right so you see that you have this uh, uh, this this video clip and you can play it and i don't think you'll be able to hear much because you know i record my tutorials using a headphone which has a, a microphone so you know uh, it's it's actually i i can hear it in my headset but i don't think you would be able to uh, but anyway uh, it's playing and uh, you can see that it's playing and you can also move uh, forward in it and you know you can uh, adjust the volume if you want to and you can also you know view it uh, you know you, you can maximize it you can view it in full screen mode and you can get back so these are all the controls that html offers and um, that's it for now i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next video in which we'll discuss more html features and uh, more tags and uh, that's it and take care.